guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who are here for the first time it's a pleasure to have you so this tutorial today is gonna you can see my screen now you can see that I have currently have the Sims 4 studio loaded up I'm gonna be real with y'all all right I have been trying to get the Sims 4 studio to work for the past hour and a half if y'all want to just peep my browser I had so many stuff open up I have been all over the place the closest I got to figuring out how, how to fix my error message when finding my sim path sims 4 path to work the program it was only for a Mac and what I have is on Windows all right you guys so I want to say it was kind of purely chance how I figured out how to get it to work but I'm telling y'all I am so excited because I have been struggling and I know I'm not the only one out there that's been struggling and no matter what I do it won't work all right so not everybody the way that they keep showing you will not work for everybody so I'm gonna show you what I this right here I tried this it didn't work for me so I'm going to sh I promise you if you keep watching this video and if this did not work for you then keep watching all right Y'all don't know how exciting this was for me. I was about to give up. All right, I'm gonna testify. All right, here we go. So what I did, you normally when you install, I'm gonna put a link in the description, but this is where you're gonna go to get The Sims 4 Studio. This link will be there. You're gonna scroll down as per usual and you're going to install. Now I, I use the installer. You can download the zip if you have WinWar. I'll also put the description in the box for WinWar as well. It's a file I use to unzip, right? Unzip files. But the easier way is just to click installer. It's going to look just like this here. You click on it and you know you press next, next and confirm and all that good stuff and it installs itself on your computer once it installs it's going to come up looking just like this it's going to look like this right first thing you're going to want to do is put a creator name whatever your name is whatever you want your name to be so let me tell you from now guys it's not a tutorial on how to use the sims 4 studio because i don't know how to use it yet i'm sorry i just installed it i'm just doing some troubleshooting all right so you put in your creator name next thing you're going to want to do is usually some person will get an error as soon as they log in saying that the path file cannot be located what you're going to do is go into settings now i already have in everything that is required after much much hard work before you click on the sims 4 path here and find the sims 4 game i'm first going to help you put the application where it needs to be in order for the Sims Studio to work. I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to locate my Sims 4 application and I'm going to move it to somewhere else so that the Sims 4 Studio can locate it because where it was originally, it was not working no matter what I did. Let me show you how I found it in the first place. Let me just minimize some stuff off my screen here, you guys. So right here, on your on your desktop let me just close this off for the time being on your desktop you're going to click on the sims 4 shortcut that you usually have on your desktop to go directly to your game you're going to right click you're going to say open file location all right now let me give you let me tell you something this was not where my sims 4 game was before this is where i put it in order for it to work before now, as you can see, I have this PC, Windows, Program Files, and The Sims 4. I had to go into Game and Bin, and right here that my mouse is pointing, that's where my Sims 4 application, original application was. Now, every time when I went here, let me show you, and I clicked on Settings, and I went into Sims 4 Path, I did the whole process of clicking and finding all of this until I got to bin and I click when I went into bin my sims 4 game application would just not show up I mean I'm looking at it right here but it's not showing up in the sim studio so let me tell you what I did and this is where I'm very close to ending this tutorial what I did was I let's say for example I clicked on it it was here before I clicked on it and I, I can't click on it because I already moved it, but 
you guys get the gist I click on it just like how you move something like this you hold you click on it you hold down and I pulled it and put it right here all right because this is like this is it not being in too many different folders I pulled it and I put it right here and that is and that is how it ended up down here right here and this is all I had to do you guys so now what you're gonna do in order to locate it let me show you you're gonna go into settings you're gonna go into sims 4 path you're gonna do everything if, if it makes it easier for you once you've clicked on your shortcut found out where the original game is and you've moved it like I've told you you can have this open in the background so that you can follow all right, so make it big in the background. I hope I'm not too confusing. You open it big in the background. You go into settings, program Sims 4 path. You click on the three dots, and then you find it. So you're going to go in this PC. If this was confusing, guys, just let me know, and I'll do another video trying to make it sound less confusing. PC, Windows. All right, you scroll down. You go into program files. And then you just click on the Sims 4 here. If I hadn't changed the location of the original Sims 4 application, then it would have not been able to pick it up. So you just click on the Sims 4, you click on OK. And for the second one, the Sims 4 documents is just where you usually go to place your CC. But you're not going to click on anything but just the Sims 4. So you're going to document this PC documents electronic arts and you just click on the sims 4 click ok and then you're gonna press save and i promise you everything will just load up and that's how you get to here where you have object and everything loads trust me guys if this works for you remember to like comment and subscribe and if it didn't work for you just leave me a comment and I'm also going to put the instructions in the description box below just in case this video is a little bit too confusing because I know I can be a bit confusing. But if it wasn't and you understood, remember to like the video and thank you so much for watching.